director on the admissions committee, you would also have insight into what are some of the education myths that you run into from prospective parents that may be interfering with their ability to sort of engage with a, a, you know, this kind of different education? There are all too many to count. I can say <laughs> the notable one of the parents going, but what about math? as though their kid mm -hmm. would just flounder completely and never become an adult because they haven't had a formal math class. I will also say it's interesting because one of our staff members is a notable, has his PhD in math, so we have the ability to have mm -hmm. math classes and do sometimes that are sparsely attended, mm -hmm. but still, um, well, some. Some are, some are very vastly attended, but then attendance kind of drops off. But mm -hmm. yeah, the parents that are worried about academics, it's such a myth that academics are the most important thing about education and that your child has to be a number and that they have to prove themselves in that regard. Academics could not be, they are important. I, I'll give them that, especially if what you want to do next right, is right. college or something like that. But they're so easily attained if a kid is driven to attain them. If a kid has never taken a class mm -hmm. and wants to go to college, for example, there are multiple ways by which they could go about this. And it doesn't have to be you taking SATs and you completing all of these uh, forms of coursework just to get credit for college or just to prove that you can be a valuable enough college admissions person. It, it shouldn't work like that. And it doesn't work like that, at least for us. Our kids still get into college. They still get into trade schools. They still do what they want to do after this. I think a huge driving factor of that is because they're hungry for it. They are, right. they're, they're so much more driven when, when they want to accomplish something and that causes them to be more successful than their counterparts who are just beaten down by the education system thus far. So that, that's something we notice as a myth is just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. far from, from the mainstream is okay to be doors aren't closed just because the academics weren't at the forefront. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.